What's up guys, got a quick video for you here today. I wanted to give my thoughts on this fragrance. This is uh, Pure Wood by Terry Muggs. There's a new release that just came out. It should be in stores uh, now. Macy's and your designers that, um, I mean, um, uh, retailers that carry Terry Mugler. But th this fragrance, the notes listed on it are coffee, oak, vanilla, patchouli, and cypress. So I think the most dominant note in this is is actually the patchouli. Uh, the oak is very, 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 very present. I, actually, no, I think the oak might might be stronger. But that patchouli note is very strong to me in the opening, and then as it dries down, and I've had it on here for about 20 minutes, the oak starts to come out. Uh, the vanilla gives it, the combination of vanilla and the, the oak gives it a spicy feel, almost a cinnamon-like feel. And this fragrance seems like it's perfect for uh, fall. So I think, I think this is the type of fragrance I'd be reaching for during the holidays, during uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's a really nice scent. It kind of reminds me of a mix between the original Amen and something like uh, Burberry London or um, what's the other one? Spice Bomb. So it kind of reminds me of a mix of those fragrances, uh, a hybrid. And if you like the original Amen, then you're most likely going to like this fragrance. If you want to complete the collection, I would say go for it. Comparing this one, just from the few testings and wearings I've had of it, to the others, I would put my favorite of the line is Pure Vaughn. So I put Pure Vaughn as, as the, the best one. Second best, I would put Pure Malt. And the third best, I would put this one right here. And right after that, the original Amen. So I, obviously I wasn't a b big fan of the original, but I like this one a lot more. It's it's fresher, it's lighter. Uh, performance is not beast mode like all the others, but it lasts about five hours on my skin, and it projects you know about average for a for a designer fragrance. So that's my take on it. If you didn't like the other line, the other the other fragrances from the other line, then I wouldn't recommend buying buying this one. Uh, but you can get a sample on it if you think you would like something like a, a woody. A woody, spicy scent uh, that reminds you of Burberry London and and um, Spice Bomb. So I'll go check this one out. But it's you're gonna pay full retail right now. It's only at um, the, uh, retailers that carry uh, Terry Mugler and on their website. I I wouldn't pay full retail at the moment. I would try to get my hands on a sample maybe and wait till it, somebody starts selling them on the swap groups or on discount retailers online uh, it just doesn't blow me away to the point where I would go and and pay the full price sticker price for it I rarely do that anyway uh, but it is a nice fragrance and if uh, if I saw it discounted of course I'd go and purchase it and I would wear this during the cooler times of the year the fall and the winter it's too bad performances in beast mode I know a lot of you love that about the original Termugler line but it's still a solid fragrance, and I, I recommend that those who like the other ones go check this one out. It gets my stamp of approval, but I don't think it's blind by worthy for anybody who didn't like that line. So that's my, my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Those of you who smelled it, do you get that same uh, spicy vibe like a Burberry London uh, Spice Bomb feel? Um, let me know in the comments. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Take it easy. Peace.